What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm BMAX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have another deck profile for the BT15 format. We have our new yellow vaccine iteration. This is probably about the fourth one we've done. The deck just keeps getting better. Uh, there's just so many more options and so many cool things to put into it. And we're going to show this off and see what you guys think of our latest uh, style for the deck. Uh, and hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of fun. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with our eggs, we have five eggs and we're playing a 3-2 split, which has been something I used to love to do. Uh, I haven't done it for a while. In this instance, the egg doesn't matter super much. Um, either one is a good pick. You have your Tokemon from um, BT14, which is... You know, once per turn, when a card is added to your security stack, draw one. And then the Chiromon was when a card is removed from your security stack, uh, when your Digimon gains jamming. So you have the option for jamming to protect your monster when you go to attack uh, and try and get game. And you also have the draw power, extra draw power needed. The deck has really good draw power and, and some good DP reduction. So either one is a good pick, um, and, but I like the split for right now. Starting off for the level threes, we play four Panamon from BT14, the one that lets you start a main phase, search your security stack, and digivolve into a level four uh, with the vaccine trait, uh, and then for, for free, and then afterwards you will put a you can put a yellow vaccine card uh, in your hand at the bottom of your security stack. He's also got inheritable when this card is added when a card is added to your secure stack gain a memory which will go off once you've digivolved into him because he's already the new monster by the time you put that card back so that's really good play two patamon uh from the, the promo movie promo one the on play lets you search your security stack and add a two color black or yellow card to your hand uh and then recovery plus one if you do and then i'll Inheritable, all your opponents, your uh, your turn, all your opponents' security Digimon gain minus two thousand. That's always good. Uh, two Salomon from BT fifteen. Start your main phase. If you have three or more security cards, you may add the top card to your secure stack to your hand. If you have two or fewer, you may place a yellow Digimon card with the yellow vaccine trait uh, from your hand at the top or bottom of your stack, which uh, will come up, and we'll get to that. But that can be really good, and then it also has inheritable when a card is removed from your secure stack. One of your opponents gains minus two thousand for the turn. Can come up, but not super important. Play one Kudamon uh, gives you reveal top three, add a tamer and a yellow tamer and a vaccine trait card to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom, uh, and then it has inheritable if there are six or fewer total cards in both players' secure stacks. One of your opponents' Digimon gains minus two thousand DP when attacking. Uh, lastly, we play one Pillowmon for our 10th card. Uh, players can't reduce Digimon by effects. Uh, it's a vaccine trait card. I do like this in the format right now over um, Cutemon because Cutemon, I feel, is going to be less important now that Apoclamon is going to be dead uh, starting on March 1st. Um, there's still a lot of good cards that reduce costs, but I think uh, playing effects is a little bit more prevalent in the game and something you got to watch out for a little bit more. Um, so that's it for our level threes. On to our level fours. Play one Geo Greymon. He is busted. That's why he's at one. So when you play him on Digivolve, uh, you can search your security stack and play Yellow Tamer for free. Um, red or yellow, but red, Yellow Tamer for free. Uh, and then Recovery plus one. And then, of course, Inheritable, if to one of your Tamers suspends, you can potentially pop something 3,000 or less. So he's really good. Uh, really good to play uh, out of security with some of your other cards, like Patamon, because uh, otherwise he's a three-cost drop. We're playing uh, two Angemon. He is still really good, but not as good as some of the other things we play. So we play with only two of him. Um, the virus thing comes up sometimes, but mostly uh, you're just deleting him and then his aunt, when attacking. Uh, and then you did draws for Patamon on two, uh, and on deletion, uh, place this card at the bottom of your security stack. Then if you have a tamer, uh, you may hatch to the breeding area, so he helps you do that. And then on deletion, inheritable, uh, place one yellow card with the yellow vaccine trait from your hand to the bottom of your security stack, so he just helps you keep adding stuff. 
the new stuff in the deck, we're playing three Godamon from PT15. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to grab any of the alts yet. Uh, when Effect trashes this card from your security stack, you may play this card without paying the cost. So that's your opponent's effects. Or if you trash it, which we will get into, uh, it has a barrier and inheritable barrier. And all turns, once per turn, when a card is removed from your security stack, gain one memory. And I don't believe that'll proc off her summoning because the card was already removed. But yeah. Uh, we play three of the ST10 Gatamon, which is the on play uh, reveal the top three cards of your decks. Add one yellow Digimon card and one purple uh, Digimon card from your hand. You do play some purple yellows. You can search it off of itself. Um, so it does come up sometimes where you'll get two targets. And then when this Digimon uh, would Digivolve uh, into a card with Archangel or Fallen Angel, uh, and its traits reduce the memory cost of the digital solution by two, which is going to come up with all your level fives. Uh, the inheritable doesn't matter because we don't DNA Digivolve. <clears throat> two Wizardmon from BT15. He's got Blocker and then On Play On Deletion by trashing the top or bottom card of your security stack. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 6,000 for the turn. That's huge. Uh, and he's not a he's not a vaccine, but we can play him for free, and that's one of the reasons why we play him. Um, that is it for our level fours. So 11 level fours. Uh, for our level fives, we play three. You know, like this, the English exclusive, right? Uh, we're going to play three Magnagemon, so Blastage of all for free. Uh, potentially, and then on play when digivolving, uh, you can, if you have five or fewer security cards, recovery plus one, and then minus a thousand for each one. So uh, you're trashing a lot of cards, so you're not always going to have five, so you're not going to be able to do a, a lot of mass damage. So I do like only three of this because we were going to play three of this in exchange, which is the new Angel Woman. Uh, we were able to get these out of boxes, so it was really, really stoked. And it's got Blastage Evolution. On play when digivolving uh, by trashing the top or bottom card of your security stack. Uh, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 6,000 for the turn. And then when a card is removed from the security stack, recovery plus one. So it comes back up uh, as long as you have three or less in, in your uh, security. So again, it's, it's pretty good. Um, the nice thing with the Godomons is you can digivolve into the Godomon for free with your Patamon. And then reduce the digivolution cost of this by by two so you can digivolve for one uh, which do makes it worthwhile to um you know because you're gonna get that overflow so a lot of times you want to play these for free but sometimes you can't because your opponent will pop it before you get a chance to to even digivolve so sometimes this is really good um being able to do that and then lastly we play uh the angel woman x antibody uh, it can digivolve on the Angel Woman for zero. It's an Archangel, so it can digivolve for Godamon for one. Uh, one. One of your opponent's Digimon gains security minus one for the turn um, <clears throat> until the end of their turn. And then if you have an Angel Woman or X Antibody in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, uh, if you have five or fewer security cards, recovery plus one. So, again, really good. Uh, and that's it for our level fives. Super good lineup. Um, the ace cards are just amazing. For our level sixes, we play two Seraphimon from BT14, which has a windage evolving, uh, recovery plus one, and then all turns, once per turn, when a card is added to your security stack, uh, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 7,000, and this Digimon gains security attack plus one. So it gives you us a little bit of aggro there. We play one Shadow Seraphimon, because it can digivolve for him on one. We can search this with the promo Patamon, because it's two color. A yellow or black card uh, and then he has uh, when a card is removed from your security stack D digivolve when your opponent's digimon and then on deletion recovery plus one and then one year uh opponent's digimon gets minus four thousand for every security card in your stack so that's huge uh play two metamon from ex5 this was the new one that was introduced in ex5 i was playing the marcus variant so i didn't get a chance this is where a lot of your abilities comes in. So when digivolving, when attacking once per turn by trashing the top card of your security stack, you may play one yellow level four card from your hand without paying the cost. Digimon played by this effect gain rush for the turn. So you can play things like the Wizardmon 
or your god omans that search and they gain rush for the turn uh, and then opponents turn all of your opponent's digimon with levels greater than or equal to the total cards in both players security stacks gain security minus two so blanket effect um while he's on the field everything gains minus security two and if your opponent attacks in your security with lower level monsters they potentially lock themselves out from attacking uh with that uh, so and you can basically potentially do this twice in a turn you know when digivolving attacking summon out two monsters with rush and potentially go for game so it can be super aggressive uh, which is why i don't think you need venus mon in the deck because it does do the stun job so we play one as our last copy one magnadramon which is on play when digivolving evolving by trashing the top or bottom card of your uh, security stack one of your opponent's digimon gets minus nine thousand until the end of the turn then all turns once per turn when a card is removed from your security stack if you have three or fewer security cards uh, you may place one yellow card from your hand on the top or bottom of your security stack. And that's one yellow card, not just one yellow vaccine. So you can place like a long key on, on your, as your third security card. So that's huge. Uh, and then lastly, try and Graham on rude mode. He's an amazing level seven blanketing uh, minus 5k to your opponent. You can play him for free off of emissary. Uh, well, play him for one off of emissary, which is huge. And then he, you know, end of attack, he blows himself up, recovery, and gains you, hatches an egg for you. So really super good card. You kind of got to play at least one of it. For Tamers, we're playing uh, one or four TK uh, from BT14, which adds the top card of your security on play to your hand. And then you may place a yellow vaccine uh, underneath the bottom. And then every time you, a card is... Uh, added to your security stack, you can proc him to gain one memory. So it's good memory gain. Uh, play two of the TK, the old memory tamer one, which searches your security stack, gets you a piece, a uh, yellow piece, and then a recovery plus one if you do if it's a yellow card. Um, Kari Kamiya, we're playing one copy of Kari Kamiya. She's also a memory tamer. Uh, when she's trashed uh, from your security, she, uh, one of your opponent's station one gains minus security attack minus one until the end of their turn uh, and then like i said also a memory tamer but all turns when an effect removes a card from your security stack um, by suspending this tamer you may uh, give one of your opponents digimon minus security attack minus one until the end of their turn so she also gives security attack minus one uh, we do play a card that we need to have one of her and that's kind of what i thought well this guy's pretty good but you know having the both options is nice um, so that's it for our tamers. Uh, lastly, for our option cards, three emissary of hope, the one that lets you digivolve uh, into a vaccine in your security stack. For one, you know what you're placing in your security stack at all times, so you do have a good idea of what's going on there. And then, uh, you know, level six or lower Digimon uh, with the vaccine trait, and then. Uh, shuffle your security stack, and if digivolved by this effect and you have a TK uh, on the field, you get recovery plus one. Also, its a security ability is you may play one Panamon from your hand or trash without paying the cost, then add this card to your hand, which is super good. Uh, we play three copies of physical training to help you get to your pieces uh, and give you that reduced digivolution cost. We're playing one copy of Revelation of Light, the new option from bt15 which is for play uh when effect trashes this card from your secure stack activate its security ability which is a all opponents digimon and security digimon get minus 5000 until the end of the turn which is really really good and then main search your security stack uh you may play one yellow four or lower digimon from among them uh for play cost without paying the play cost which is good because most of your level fours cost five or more um, so you play it for four, and then <clears throat> if you have a tamer with Kari Kamiya in its name, place this card on the top of your security stack. So you can do that to potentially trash it and gain its security ability. It's a really good card um, because we're only playing the one Kari. I think one copy of it is just nice, and it gives you a little bit of defensiveness with also helping ex extending your plays. Lastly, we play one Lonky because, like I said, we can place it on the third card with certain abilities. So it's pretty good, and it's a great stun card. So that's uh it for the options that's it for the deck tell me what you guys think uh do you guys think that uh this is a stronger version of the deck uh 
do you like the, the, the play style the you know with the more aggression but as well as uh, having all that defensive capabilities that the deck already has I really like this iteration of the deck. The Metamons are really cool. The Agile and Aces are really cool. Controlling your security um, a little bit more closely and not just trying to make sure you have bajilli a bajillion security is really cool. And so I do kind of like that. But you do have to be careful, and it is a very toolboxy deck. But let me know what you guys think and what you guys think any changes I can make to make the deck better. We always appreciate the comments. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we hope to see you in the next video. And as always, have a wonderful day, and that's all for now, folks.